Hi, my name is Nick Jeffries of New Projects and you're watching New Weekly, episode 24. Because each area of London is different. The properties are different, the people are different, and guess what? The snob factor is different. Bradley has found a lovely property in Fulham. Currently, it is circa 11,000 square feet. 32 apartments, asking price 92 million pounds. Oliver Fish, who is the off-market agent, he's gonna be showing me a development opportunity in Prime Mayfair. I'm just heading over to see my good old friend Atta at Brett's because I want to discuss some signage outside his showroom so when people walk by or drive by they see that fantastic gold NU. apologize I haven't created any content for YouTube because I've been creating lots of content for Instagram me and Zoltan we've been out in Fulham Chelsea Belgravia Holland Park South Kensington and we've been shooting one minute videos to go out on Instagram stories so these are very powerful tools to attract people. So I've been shooting in the different areas and in each video I've been mentioning that area and obviously I've been standing backgrounds of the streets of South Kensington, Chelsea, Holland Park and so forth. Because each area of London is different. The properties are different, the people are different and guess what? The snob factor is different. So um, we've got to create different content for the different areas of London. And just where we are here, I'm just literally heading up uh, into Chelsea again now. You know, within two miles, you've got all the prime areas of West London. So it's very, very, uh, a very, very tight area. You can get to these places within, you know, 10, 15 minutes. And well, if the traffic's good. But yeah, so apart from that, uh, unfortunately, Will is out the office today. He has gone to Edinburgh because his mother passed away a few weeks ago and they've gone to the funeral. Uh, he's back in the office on Wednesday. Guy is back after his uh, COVID uh, sign off. He's feeling a little bit better, so it's good to have him back. Um, again, Izzy's back in tomorrow, Jemima's back in tomorrow, and so one, Mondays are pretty quiet, to be fair. So I thought, the weather's nice, let's get Zoltan out and take some of these little videos for Instagram stories. Um, apart from that, I'm healthy, I've got a little bit of suntan on my face because I was sitting in the garden over the weekend, which is always a bonus, and uh, we're just getting to get ready for a positive week already today we've had three new inquiries which we're working through kind of small but all I'm gonna do is sort of pass them on to our trusted subcontractors to go and uh, win them so if we can make a few quid out of it we will do on Sunday I took out the new Porsche Taycan Turismo I think that's what it's called it's like the estate version of it uh, it was a turbo amazing car 0 to 60 in 2.8 seconds 240 miles range uh, so I, I had that for a few hours on Saturday morning um, beautiful car it's about 140k 
but this motor here is about 70k but I'm putting in nearly 200 pounds worth of diesel well not even diesel petrol and it's a hybrid a week ridiculous um, so I've got to get myself into an electric car because I'm doing too many miles a day and it just doesn't stack up over the weekend I think on Saturday when I was getting in and out of this bloody Porsche I must have lost my um, debit card credit card holder with all my cards in so I'm looking around today I'm trying to find where this bloody car's gone and uh, unfortunately I've lost my card so I've had to stop them all today and uh, also apply for a new driving license which is a complete and utter pain in the butt. Luckily I always keep a spare card in my car just in case. Tuesday morning not one cloud in the sky and it's 20 Celsius reading in the car what a fantastic day I'm just heading to my first viewing in Richmond and I'm meeting Will O'Brien the architect over there the lady wants a basement under the house an extension and a full internal refurbishment. Richmond's a lovely area. I would love to live there myself. In other news, I had a meeting last night with Bradley and our investor, and we've changed the game plan on properties we are looking for. We wanna find commercial units in and around London which we can go for permitted development to change the use into residential. Already this morning, Bradley has found a lovely property in Fulham. Currently, it is circa 11,000 square feet. I know the property well. It's five minutes away from the office. And I believe we can probably put two floors on top making it almost 19,000 square feet I've given it to our architect Alistair Downey to take a look because he's a permitted development expert and if anyone can get this through he can so watch this space because this one could be a game changer so you're going to find this funny. I've only turned up an hour early for the viewing. It's 1.30. I turned up at 12.30. I've called up Will O'Brien, I'm here. He said, well, you're an hour early. So luckily, I parked the car on the corner and there's a nice pub. So I'm gonna settle down to fish and chips for lunch and half a Coke. Gives me a bit of time just to <clears throat> get some sun on the old head. <clears throat> See what's going on on the emails. What dramas are going to unfold today? So, just checking some emails now. So, Oliver, Oliver Fish, the agent in Mayfair, he's just sent me through 
an opportunity. Listen to this one. 32 apartments in Marleybone. Have a guess. Put your comments below before you uh, listen to the next part. So, 32 apartments, asking price, 92 million pounds. Offers in, offers in excess of 66 million encouraged. Total 39,000 square feet and it brings in a rental income of 2.5 million per annum. Seems pretty low to be honest. Who could buy a portfolio like that? Well, I know one man who could, if it was in America. Mr. Grant Cardone, what do you think? Get yourself to London. Mr. Cardone, you've conquered America, now get yourself to London. So that's that one. Will is heading back from Scotland today. Unfortunately, he's, he's there because of his mum's funeral and um, Hopefully he's going to be okay. It's a bit of a shock, isn't it? And um, well, I think she was pretty poorly. So it'd be good to get him back in the office. So, look at it, look. Yeah, you can, I mean, I need to make this place a bit bigger. Um, so that it's fine for three teenagers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I was thinking of a wraparound extension. Yeah. Um, and I'm not sure I can touch that slate tree, so I was thinking of having skylight at like a glass roof there, but then going back to the flat roof here. Yeah. What you I really You should need... be able to remove that back wall. Well, that's not the original back wall. No. The slate roof. You want to take, you want to open it right up yeah. and have a proper kitchen, ex have a proper yeah. side return. Yeah. You know, yeah. five folds from there to there. Mm. I quite like those stack backs so you can, yeah. you know, three you can just move yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then what I really need is, you see the, um, the dormer there? Yeah. And see the tiny little window on the next floor down? Yeah. But I'd love, I really need a bathroom on that floor because that's going to be the kids' floor. Yeah, sure. Um, that little add-on there. Why couldn't you have a little pod room out there coming out, like another extension on well, top? you've got one two doors down there. So you Is that called an outrigger? That yeah, one? so you know, like, it's like a little pod, little pod room on top yeah, of this one here. Yeah, yeah look. So yeah. it comes out, so you can go. Yeah. You can have like another story easily on the back. I don't know whether I get it all across because I think isn't there something to do with cubic meters? I'm not sure. But yeah, but you won't. Well, you... Permitted development. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. So planning. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, you you can just replicate what they've done here on this side. Yeah. So did you say the drive is within the property? No, this pathway belongs to me. Oh, I see. There's a, there's a change of yeah. Uh, brickwork. Yeah.
e, müsait olursa Merve o katalog getirecek bize. Hi. Here's my favorite. Hi, Mr. Nick. <gülüyor> welcome, welcome, Brad. How are you? Good to see you. My friends, this is new. Wow, wow. <gülüyor> Have a lovely day. This you met Izzy before in the office, haven't you? No. No. Oh no, no you haven't. No. This is Atta. This is uh, this is Izzy. Hello. This is Izzy. My Jemima's name. cousin. My name is Atta. Cousin. This is cu Jemima's cousin. Ah. Open the gun. I'm not going to get a bottle of champagne out already, are you? <laughs> lovely shot, though, isn't it? Really nice. Yeah, that's it. Get the lights on. Wow. Nice, aren't they? So, Atta has designed everything himself. Everything goes for his hands first. It's all been designed, all been manufactured and yeah. fabricated. Hello, how are you doing? How are you? What, what a lovely day. Very nice so bit. Nice. Unbelievable. And you've always yeah, got... Lucky, lucky. This cap suits you, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> it's new company. I know you, have you got... Uh, have you been sunbathing? A little bit, haven't you? <laughs> How is your life? <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Yeah, good. What is your job? My job. So I work in the office um, and I call out what's well, customer service. Oh, okay. So she, she's on the phones Hi. calling architects to say, Hi, oh, this is new is. projects. Oh. Can yeah. we go on your tender list? Can we, have you got any work for us? So I brought Izzy here today. So once a month, we're going to have an event here, aren't we? So I wanted Izzy to come and have a look to meet you, mm. and maybe once a month, starting that from lovely. April, we, let's get ten architects Whoa. or interior designers here, professionals, so we can. Um, come, come. What are you doing? I haven't seen you. I haven't seen you. What are you, do, what are you doing? Story. That's it. Look at that new cap. <laughs> We like we like brothers from another mother, aren't we? <laughs> like brothers. Five, four, <laughs> three, two. <laughs> 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 that's that's so that's what we're going to do. We're going to have uh, maybe 10, 15 people a month here. We can then network. We can talk about Brett. We can talk about their architecture. People can network together. So I wanted Izzy to come and have a look okay. for herself and then maybe we can start thinking about sending out some invitations. Some invitations. Yeah. And the invitations could be on, on email, we can yeah. do a joint logo, new Brett's, which, yeah. which Claudia's already done. Yeah, I've seen you showed me. But you know, it's lovely, isn't it? You can do, no, definitely. No, it's really lovely. Amazing. Maybe, maybe uh, she's dancing, no? Dancer? No, she was a dancer, yeah. yeah. Used to. <laughs> oh, because so, I stand like this. <laughs> that is a professional dancer. Oh, I know, well. you said. Wow. <laughs> Maybe what what is it? Tango, isn't day. it? Yes. Yesterday, wow. yesterday, four hours. Four hours tango. Yes, tango. In uh, Covent Garden, Bronze uh, Restaurant and Bazaar. Wow. So, yeah. How many partners do you have when you how many lady partners just just mix up? Mix all mix, maybe 20, 20 uh, moments. <laughs> Always a change. Four, four, nice. Four, four, four. Yeah. Change. Maybe, yeah. Uh, totally 40 uh, couples. All, all different nationalities. Wow. Yes. High level is dancing. Yeah. What nationality? Who's the best dancers? Um, he is a Turkish. Turkish. Very important. Yeah. yeah. Because it's teacher and school is very important. Yeah. Uh, and Ukraine, yeah. maybe Russian woman. Yeah. Very good dancer. Yeah. Because all the sport is ballet, this yeah. physical, this good, yeah. acts important. Hundred yeah. points for here. Yeah. This balance. He loves his dancing. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Though, I Actually, can you move like that, Nick? I can't. <laughs> Maybe you can give me some dancing lessons. Well, he does throw me around here, <laughs> doesn't he? Maybe I need to make this show this idea. Yeah, so let's have, let's have a plan. Obviously, um, you've seen Claudia 
putting out stuff on Instagram now. Yes. Video. Very successful person is Instagram uh, story and style. Exactly. Always like. Always. Always. Okay. So the more content we need to get, more content out there. And um, I'll tell I'll tell you I'm copying. I'll tell you I'm copying. This morning is here. Hi, how are you? My name is Atta, blah, blah, blah. Oh, you did it. Oh, you did, you did. Hi. Nick, Nick. <laughs> what, is that for Instagram? <laughs> yes, put it is on every morning. Good, every it's morning. Just copy. If, I, if, I, I, I am uh, 100%. You. But what you've got to do, you have got to get a better better camera on your phone. Yeah. But if you get, um, you get the, the, the iPhone's got beautiful cameras. That's what you need. So what are you doing today? Today I, I, am, on, I am on, uh, yes, yes, uh, Mavana Club, uh, Junaid, uh, uh, he went Junaid, and yeah. uh, government this paper, blah, blah, this yeah. office. Yeah. Maybe uh, after one hour. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just have a, have a little look around, yeah, see? You, you got, um, this, this, I love that bit of furniture down here. The, the cabinet. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh, it's so nice. Mm. So, just heading over to Mayfair to meet Oliver Fish, who is the off-market agent. He's going to be showing me a development opportunity in Prime Mayfair. Let's go and see if it looks great and the numbers stack up. Around here, mate, isn't it? This piece of kit. Oh no! This is, Amazing. this is what you want. I said, what, 15, 16 hundred square feet each? Yeah. Well, one, one slightly bigger than the other because they built both of the terrace. Yeah. So both. Are they both exactly the same layouts? No, they're slightly out. Slightly. The range is slightly different. I think one's got the bedrooms down, yeah. so one's got them upstairs. Yeah, right? one's got bedrooms down and we're living up, but also the one next door has built out over the flat roof yeah. and up the level. So how many square feet is this one? Uh, this is the smaller one, so it's to be like 15, 50 or something like that. 15, 50. Feels bigger, doesn't it? 15, 42 and 16, 21. 15, 40. And so they're asking for this one, I'm just... They're asking 3,750 per unit, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, 3,750 per flat. Yeah. Six point six. Yeah. Okay. And then we've got planning permission to do the first floor as well. Yeah. Right. So essentially, it will be an L on this side. So ground floor full width. Yeah. First floor extend that. Room. Yeah. So that's that's planning ready to go. But it's planning for flats. Right. It's got to be changed. Change your use back into single resi. So I want five feet going across the back. Yeah. 
Okay. This whole bit of space downstairs. Do you want to make it really look nice yeah. for the area? Because no one's really done something special, nice yeah. around. You know, yeah. Obviously, we we do loads of stuff in yeah. where you know and you've yeah. seen it. So we can make it look pucker. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be big, mud, big money. Yeah. It's just adding the square footage. This is the problem. This is why I wanted to buy your house. Because they will only allow 2.6 yeah, unless we do it together. If we do it together, if you do if you do a joint application, so I you, I okay, submit me, yours yeah, and yours. The cost, you see? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. this is the thing because the thing is right. We can do the whole of the first floor as well. Yeah. And we can do the full width across the back. Right, because it's hovering over the staircase. If you go forward and fill that gap, your bathroom then goes whole width, mm. and you get all the space, and your staircase then goes up into the loft. Where's the toilet? Okay, on this side. Also, then you can increase that size. Mm -hmm. yeah. Would you so um, so you have the loft conversion? Yeah. So this would be your master. Yeah. Right. Would you want to? It's what I would personally do. Block up this door here. Yeah. Right. And so you, this is your master bedroom. You, I would have your your bed probably over here. Yeah. Bash this through. Yeah. So you'd have walk-in wardrobes. Yeah. Into your ensuite. Yeah, he paid, yeah, he paid, I think it was like about, I don't know, 10k or something, wasn't it? Yeah, he paid last night. Thursday morning and yet again, another beautiful day. Not one cloud in the sky. And I'm just heading over to see my good old friend Atta at Brett's because I want to discuss some signage outside his showroom so when people walk by or drive by they see that fantastic gold NU from the King's Road. Um, also other news I've been approached by another football club local West London team in Barnes and um, this one works better for new because I'm in Fulham, Barnes is literally five minutes up the road. So it's part of the same kind of community. I drive past Barnes maybe three or four times a week anyway. And um, I've said to the marketing uh, guy that let's meet on site, let's have a walk around. Unfortunately, the team kit sponsor has already been taken up by a local estate agent, but I'm keen to get my signs everywhere and maybe even sponsor the junior teams, which realistically would be better for us because the mums and dads will come and watch their kids and the mums and dads are own, own houses. So uh, that could work better for new. Um, other news, I got back late last night because I headed over to uh, Acton to meet that guy and his neighbour. They both want similar kitchen extensions, loft conversions and full interior refurbishments. I've introduced them to Will, the architect. Just let them get on with it. Maybe their budget's not there. I've given a ballpark of 250k each project it's going to probably be more than that because the guy who uh, the first property I went into he wants loads of glazing he wants a glass box for the uh, the ground floor extension very very contemporary modern box windows at the back and a contemporary uh, uh, loft conversion mansard anything like that it's going to cost more money than traditional um, Will is in the office. He dropped off the smart car to get stickered up this morning. I've had a call. We're going to be picking it up later on. So uh, 
that's gonna look awesome. A little black smart car bombing around uh, Chelsea, uh, stick it up. That's gonna get noticed, one thing for sure. It's quite a nice space, isn't it? Yeah, You've got the power supply there, look. Well, take it off the light. So what we're doing today, we're just taking a look at this spot, which is opposite the site in North End Road. And we're looking for an area to put the welfare room. And uh, I think here is an ideal location. I don't know what kind of building. What do you think? I'm gonna like a like, yeah, just a shed or something, yeah. isn't it? Shed Portaloo. Shed Portaloo. How do we get the Portaloo up? So I thought I'd just take you on a tour to show you where New first started in 2010. This office was on New Kings Road and we hired the lower ground floor to uh, start new. We employed our first person, which was an architect called Andrea. And from then on, we just moved forward and the projects got bigger and bigger and bigger. We were here for about two years. Then we moved on to where we are now on the Fulham High Street. So things move quickly when you want them to. So I'm just walking down Napier Street in Fulham and I thought I'll take you down here because the houses are very unusual and different to all the other areas of Fulham because they are twice the size. Big, semi-detached, with parking on the front of the property and these properties go for, I don't know, four or five million quid when they've done up properly. If they're unmodernized and need a basement, a kitchen extension, loft conversion, a pod room, they can almost double the square footage. So uh, yeah, we haven't actually done one on this street before, but I would love to. Take a look. this one on Dolby Road a couple of years ago. Completely unmodernized. We got planning for a kitchen extension, loft conversion, pod room, and full refurb. Literally just around the corner from the office. And um, in fact, we've gone so many around these surrounding areas. You kind of lose count what ones you've done until you've walked by them. So it's Friday afternoon. It's been a really positive week, but guess what? I'm looking forward to just chilling out, 
sitting in the sun because it's going to be a fantastic weekend. Don't forget, if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, like and share. I'll see you next week.